Manchester United have received a double fitness boost during Wednesday's training session. The Reds were impressive in reaching the Carabao Cup fourth round with a 7-0 triumph against Barnsley on Tuesday night and manager Eric Ten Hag could have more options available soon. Both Mason Mount and Rasmus Hoyland trained with the group at Carrington, with our photographers capturing the pair working hard to prove they are ready to return to action. Mount was in the starting lineup for the Premier League games against Fulham and Brighton and Hove Albion but was withdrawn at halftime of the away contest with the Seagulls. The midfielder had also performed well in the Community Shield encounter with Manchester City and been a dynamic presence. Hoyland, meanwhile, has not featured in a competitive game yet this term. The Denmark striker was looking sharp in preseason, scoring against Arsenal during the US tour, but picked up a hamstring problem in the same match. After making progress with his rehabilitation, our new number 9 will be itching to get back with our free-flowing team scoring 10 times in our last two fixtures. Look out for more pictures from the session at Carrington from 10 o'clock British summer time on Thursday. Manchester United are reportedly willing to bulldoze Old Trafford to the ground if they decide against redeveloping the iconic stadium. Since the arrival of Ineos, talks have been held about whether to redevelop the 114-year-old ground or build a new state-of-the-art stadium elsewhere, which would be regarded as the Wembley of the North. If a new stadium was to be built, United were previously looking to scale down the size of Old Trafford so that it could be used by their women's and academy teams, though that proposal is now being questioned by Ineos. According to the Daily Mail, United are ready to abandon the plans to keep Old Trafford if they press on with the favoured idea of building a new stadium next door. Club chiefs are said to have recognised that the idea is essentially a second stadium project which would need to be worked on alongside the plans for a new ground which is expected to be worth in the region of £2 billion. United believe that scaling down Old Trafford to a venue with a capacity of 30,000 is unlikely to work, and that the build and restoration would be incredibly complex and pricey overall when a new top-quality stadium would be nearby. After returning to Manchester United training on Monday, Mason Mount declared on social media that he is back. Mount, 25, was pictured training with the group at Carrington a day after the 7-0 win over Barnsley in the Carabao Cup fourth round. That was the third consecutive match the midfielder has missed because of a hamstring injury after being substituted at half-time during the defeat at Brighton and Hove Albion. That was the second straight game Mount had started for United to kick off the Premier League season after beginning the Community Shield against Manchester City. Eric Ten Hag confirmed before the cup tie that the former England international was progressing and a return to full training has now duly followed. Back with the mad man, Mount captioned an Instagram post showing him and Rasmus Hoyland smiling side by side during Wednesday's training session. In the comments, his teammate added, enjoying being out there with you Masi, adding the red heart and face blowing a kiss emojis. Hoyland also shared the same photo of them on his account sharing alongside it, I guess being a football player the caption should be, happy to be on the pitch again, but I think the photo says it all. In response, Mount called him the, caption king, while teammates Alejandro Garnacho and Harry Maguire commented too. Finally, the former said, punctuating the message with four loudly crying face emojis. Meanwhile, Maguire pointed out, you don't look happy in the second photo, alongside a person shrugging emoji. Hoyland sent the eyes and face with tears of joy emojis in reply. Hoyland has also been out with a hamstring injury sustained during the preseason friendly against Arsenal approaching eight weeks ago. Both players will hope to play again before the end of this month, with a trip to Crystal Palace coming up on Saturday evening. Manchester United starlet Harry Amass was not included in the matchday squad for the Carabao Cup hammering of Barnsley as boss Eric Ten Hag has decided that the Old Trafford youngster is not ready to enjoy a breakthrough season in the first team, G-I-V-E-M-E-S-P-O-R-T sources have revealed. Marcus Rashford, Alejandro Garnacho and Christian Eriksen grabbed braces, while Anthony got his name on the scoresheet from the penalty spot as the Red Devils cruised to their biggest victory since the Dutch tactician took charge thanks to completing a 7-0 route of their League 1 opponents earlier this week. 
Although Manuel Ugarte was handed the opportunity to make his first start since joining Manchester United in a deal worth up to £50.5 million from Paris Saint-Germain during the closing stages of the summer transfer window, Amass was unable to work his way into Ten Hag's plans for the encounter. Amass is not on course to enjoy a breakout season at Manchester United during the current campaign as Ten Hag is adamant that he needs to continue developing his game before being ready for first-team action according to GMS sources, which resulted in fellow youngster Toby Collier getting the nod to start at left back against Barnsley. The 17-year-old was named on the bench seven times last term, including for the FA Cup semi-final clash with Coventry City, but he is still seeking his senior debut and will be forced to remain patient in the coming months as he is not at the forefront of the Red Devils' plans despite Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia remaining on the treatment table. Although there was some surprise within the Manchester United fanbase at a mass omission from the matchday squad when Barnsley headed to Old Trafford, GMS sources have been informed that there is a feeling behind the scenes that he needs more time to prepare for the level of physicality at the top level, along with the amount of pressure and expectation. The exciting left-sided fullback enjoyed a decent preseason as he was involved with the first-team squad but his only game time since the campaign got underway has come in the form of three appearances for the Red Devils under-21 squad, and he grabbed an assist in a Bristol Street Motors trophy win over Barnsley. Manchester United technical director Jason Wilcox was eager for the likes of Amass to be involved during the closing stages of last term as he was keen to assess whether he should be considered a first-team squad member, GMS previously reported but Ten Hag chose to head in an alternative direction as he chased European qualification and FA Cup glory. Although Amass is not currently in the first-team picture at Manchester United, meaning he is not in contention to be involved against Crystal Palace on Saturday, GMS sources have been told that there are still high hopes for the teenager to make a name for himself at Old Trafford and eventually progress into the forefront of Ten Hag's plans. The former Watford sensation, who was named in the matchday squad once before leaving Vicarage Road for the Red Devils, has been pinpointed as having a bright future ahead of him after there has been the success of academy graduate Kabi Maino making the leap into senior action within the last 12 months. But Amass is being forced to continue playing the waiting game before being handed a chance and GMS sources understand that there will be opportunities further down the line as there is belief within Manchester United that he has the ability to eventually work his way into the picture amid Shaw and Malaysia's ongoing injury issues. Slovakian winger Samuel Lusail has officially joined Manchester United after leaving Crystal Palace, according to the Secret Scout. The Secret Scout, a reputable source for youth football and transfer news, has claimed that Man United beat competition from clubs in England, Italy and Germany to sign the 16-year-old. Completing a deal for former Arsenal youth striker Chido Obi Martin is next on the agenda. Manchester United agreed a deal to sign Lusail in July after he rejected a scholarship offer from Palace, and they have now completed the deal after agreeing compensation with the Eagles. The Slovakia under-17 winger is regarded as one of the most exciting attacking players at under-16 level, and signing him is huge for Man United. They have signed several teenagers this summer including Silva McSez Tyler Earnshaw, James Overy and Kone. Lusail has now been snapped up and will join the Man United academy. Due to his exciting style of play, he is a constant threat to the opposition's defence, and Man United will hope he breaks into the first team and becomes a Premier League star. The Slovakian plays on both wings, and his greatest strengths are his pace and direct running with the ball. The Red Devils have recently been concentrating on signing some of the best teenagers in the world, and more youth players are expected to join the club. They strengthened their first team by splashing £206 million on Manuel Ugarte, Joshua Zerkazi, Lenny Yoro, Matthijs De Ligt and Nosser Mazraoui in the summer. They equally bolstered their youth ranks and will continue to do so in subsequent transfer windows.